What's going on guys? It's no no checking in. We're gonna do another video regarding testosterone replacement therapy. If you'd like to know why I'm on TRT, read the description below. Uh, today we're sort of doing a follow-up video to the last video I did. And it came to when I injected testosterone a couple weeks ago, I aspirated, which is drawing back on the syringe after you've injected, and blood filled the syringe, which is really exciting to me because I've always been told you need to aspirate. If you'd like to watch that video for some context for this video, please feel free to watch it. There's a link directly below you in the description. You can click it, watch it, come back, or just follow along. I'll try to recap it as quickly as I can. But the bottom line to that video was that once we... Uh, it happened. I started really, really doing my research because I'd always been told you have to aspirate when injecting testosterone, but I didn't fully understand why. I just was told you had to. And then after calling a doctor, getting a couple other medical opinions and, and asking around, I couldn't get a set answer. I really couldn't. It was this really frustrating thing. So I put it in your guys' hands and you guys delivered and delivered well um, and got me the answer I needed. And it turns out it turns out that I was asking the wrong question. Now, I do believe that the doctor that I contacted should have been able to discern this himself, but whatever. He wasn't able to. And what I was asking was, why is it necessary to aspirate when injecting testosterone? And the question I should have been asking is, why is it necessary to aspirate when injecting oil? I completely forgot and just negated the fact that testosterone does not come raw on its own. It comes binded and mixed with oil, cottonseed oil in my case. And that is the risk. That is the problem. It's not the testosterone. It is the oil in the testosterone solution. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. So please don't overthink what I'm telling you. Learn something from it if you can. Do your own homework. I'm going to put a link in the description. A wonderful uh, subscriber of mine. Very, very smart guy. Seems a lot smarter than me. Uh, he found me an article. I'm going to link it below. And it has to do with a man who injected testosterone and another compound um, into his buttocks intramuscularly. Aspirated, drew blood, but didn't withdraw the, withdraw the needle and went ahead and proceeded to uh, push and plunge the testosterone into his body. It ended up going directly into a bloodstream and it's really, really fascinating. So when I learned this, you know, when it finally became evident that it was the oil in the solution, not the testosterone. I felt like a complete idiot because to me, that makes sense. You know, that's intuitive, of course. Like, how could I miss that? How How has everyone that I've asked missed that, it's especially the medical care professionals? I couldn't believe that no one thought of that, myself included. So it, it makes perfect sense and simple. What happens when you plunge oil into your bloodstream? Well, what it seems to happen is after it hits your bloodstream, it ends up pooling in the capillaries of your lungs, which is why when you hear people saying uh, they've done it, the stories I've heard, there it always is accompanied. One of the main issues is you immediately... Um, you experience horrible dyspnea and you start coughing uncontrollably, your lungs are trying to break up this oil, which is obviously a much different consistency than your blood, and it gets stuck there in your lungs once it works its way there. There is, I think if you inject enough, there's a chance for, uh, I forget the exact wording, but an embolism, some form of embolism. And it can be fatal um, if you inject too much of that oil. From what I'm understanding, though, so long as it's a pretty small amount, it's just going to make you very, very uncomfortable. You're going to start coughing uncontrollably. You might have an increase in your um, heart rate, perhaps a, a slight fever. You certainly are going to have your O2 saturation go down. So your body is not going to, to be taking in oxygen the way it should, naturally. And it will. And most of these symptoms seem to subside. But from what I hear, it's very, very painful. And it can be fatal if, uh, you know, if not treated quickly, depending on how much oil you were putting directly into your bloodstream. So it is the oil. That's the bottom line. Listen, aside from me trying to go off what I know off the top of my head, I'm not a medical professional and there's some really, really good information. So please read the description or excuse me, check out the description below. I will link this article. That's just fantastic. Both of them. I'll link two different articles that were sent to me. Read them. They explain things. It's very medical. So some of the verbiage, some of the, the diction is a little bit over my head, but I was able to get through most of it and then look up the words I didn't understand. But it's very fascinating. It makes it perfectly clear. I now understand. You will too. I think it would also be worth checking Checking out the video I did when I drew up the syringe and it filled with blood, uh, I made it about 10 days ago. Read the comments in that video. You will find some comments that are less useful, but you will also find some comments that are extremely helpful and they paint a perfect picture. So the bottom line is aspirate, 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 aspirate when you're injecting testosterone because oil was never intended to, uh, to enter the bloodstream. And when you do, there is a response, like I've already said, and it can be pretty dangerous. It can also, it does show though, 
that in most cases, I'd say the vast majority, it will clear up. Uh, you'll just be very uncomfortable for a little stretch. Um, and for, for the guy they did the case study on, you know, that you're going to read in the article below, I hope, it showed like a week later there were no lasting effects. Uh, his lungs had cleared. But it's very, it's very, very cool. Very, very interesting information. It really clears things up. So that's why you should always aspirate. Hope that wasn't too long-winded. You guys know I like to psychobabble. That is the end of the story. We'll see you guys in the next video. So keep pulling back on that, on that syringe. Make sure you don't hit blood. And if you do hit blood, if you do see blood fill the syringe, do not simply relocate without pulling the needle out. Go ahead and pull that needle out swap the needle and you can re uh, inject the bit of blood that's in your your syringe it's not going to clot that fast that'll be fine but it's very very important safety tip that i now fully understand and i'm so grateful to all of you for giving me that great information um it's wonderful it's wonderful stuff to know it, it makes me just so happy that i have this channel this platform that we can communicate we can teach each other how fucking amazing is that so we'll do another video soon otherwise stay safe hope you're doing well and take good care guys